Hello my scrappy friends and a big welcome to my channel today. Um, it's lovely to have you join me. I am here with my next share for Cut To You for this month and I am playing along with our second challenge for birthday month which is the two riffic challenge um, and it is to like do two of something so you can see I've got two photos um, and this is the page that I am creating uh, so I have started with a I think it's textured piece of white cardstock a quick look yep it's textured white cardstock and I don't think I put any gesso on it at all I have poured some of this colour into a little paint pot and I'm using a big brush and just getting that colour all over the background. Um, you can see I'm making sure the brush strokes on the ends are kind of flicky. I've added some splatters that didn't work well so I just brushed them out. I'm going to dry that off with my heat tool because it is a really thin coat, it doesn't take very long to dry. And then I'm going to come back in and add some splatters. So I start with this and my paint I don't think is 100% dry. Or is it? No it's not so I'm going to come in with paper towel in just a sec there you go uh, before all of those splatters turn into weird shaped blobs. That colour that I'm using there is I think it's a shimmers and it might, I can't remember, I'm not sure, sorry. Uh, as I said, I am playing along with the Terrific Challenge. I've got two photos, they are three by four and they are from my kids from back to school at the beginning of the year. Uh, I take these photos every year of them uh, with the little mini chalkboard with the year and the date. Um, and yeah, I, I have always struggled with exactly how to do them because do I put them in their own albums? Do I put them in a family album? Do I do a page each? So I just kind of went, you know what, I'm going to put both of these on the same page and go for it. I've used the Coco Vanilla Studio Legendary Collection for this one and you can see I have backed that whole cut file off, um, off screen and to back the words I just got the 6x8 pattern paper and I basically I just glued it on and then cut around it I think no I didn't I traced around it trimmed it and then glued it on uh, but I really loved the rainbow diagonal stripes so I ran with that my background is completely dry I felt like it needed a little bit of something to break it up a little bit so I've got my this is my paper texture paste my Prima Finibear I can't remember uh, and you can see I'm just using this spotty stencil and just applying the spots all over where the blue paint is. I'm not sure what I'm doing here, but you can see I am lining that pattern up as best I can, uh, but not paying too much attention to it being perfect. I think I'm getting texture paste everywhere all over my hands, and I'm pretty sure that I was also zooming at the same time that I was doing this. So yeah, you can see that I'm going and then stopping and going and stopping. I have cut out most of the the zoomy distraction stuff. <laughs> so yeah, uh, I am just, like I said, applying this all over where the blue is. And I'm pretty sure I come in with my heat tool. Yep, come in with my heat tool and dry the back as well. Making sure it's dry after I smush it. <laughs> bending those uh, edges back a little bit because it had warped and I'm really happy with where that's going to go and how it's going to sit tuck my photos back in there this uh, paper texture paste is really quite textury like with modeling paste it goes on quite smooth uh, this is more bumpy and I find that things get kind of caught on it so I have pulled out uh, all my legendary collection I wanted to add some layers behind my photo um, I love this yellow in this collection I really 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 love the yellow in this collection so I'm gonna add a couple of layers and you'll laugh um, when you see what I do add a couple of layers behind each photo 
I've got that uh, green and white stripe and also like I said that yellow don't think I use this blue some more of that green and white stripe on the other side and then I kind of go oh well I've got the green and the white and the yellow here so I'll do the same on the other side uh, and I find that I cut off the smallest piece of this yellow that I can get away with using and I tuck that in there I'm like yep I really like that I'm going to distress the edges and also I am going to cut out the center of this piece of paper because I don't want to not be able to use it like I said I love this yellow really love it so I'm going in and distressing the edges and I'm going to start sticking these behind my photo. My photos are going to end up flat on the background and then uh, before you saw me adding foam to my cut file. So uh, like I said this is the other challenge for birthday month at Cut To You. Uh, remember you can uh, score 20% off store-wide using the code that I will make sure I pop in the description box below right up until the end of the month the 31st of July midnight Australian Eastern uh, Standard Time Standard Time um, anyone that is in the Northern Hemisphere please be aware that will be like the 30th at some point for you <laughs> I don't the, the time difference always always gets me so uh, yeah and that's everything in store including kits which are awesome uh, I have purchased myself a couple of kits and I plan on doing those as uh, stash shares I think so look for those kits are awesome if you don't know anything about them uh, also if you don't know Gwen not only does the digital cut files but she also does custom cuts so she'll cut them in her house and send them worldwide uh, which I think is an amazing awesome um, product to be offering people sorry I forgot my words then uh, I wanted to add some silver splatters as well in the cut file on the paintbrushes and pencils I have backed the parts that might be metal I've backed them with some uh, silver painted cardstock I did I painted a piece of cardstock silver for another project a little while ago I had some offcuts so I just used it for this and so I'm just adding those splatters I'm pretty sure I had to speed this video up quite a bit so everything is on super fast forward uh, I added some stitching I was going to go with like seven rainbow colors but I ended up choosing three I went with the red the green and the yellow and then I've added on the top left and the bottom right of the photos the same three colors just like in an L shape with stitching and I've added that rainbow stripe sorry I've added that rainbow stripe to the white cardstock um, this is actually recorded um, a little while after I started the page so yeah um, I now I'm up to the embellishing I I'm really excited I got that flare badge on the page uh, flare badges are something I struggle with but uh, this worked really well I like the pop of green it says let's go so I guess my whole title reads let's go back to school 2020 um, and I'm really happy with that I wanted to bring a little bit more of that wood grain uh, kind of more to the back of the page because it's really prominent on those paint brushes uh, and I had this uh, it's actually one of the offcuts that I don't think you're supposed to keep I use air quotes for that uh, but I was like hey I can use this it's got that awesome wood grain on it I cut it in half I'm going to put half around the uh, the photo on the left and then the other half around on the bottom right of the other photo you can see me just sticking that down there I have distressed the edges of that as well and I'm just using that watercolor palette to um, weigh it down and I knew I just wanted to bring a little cluster down here I don't add too much there is a lot going on um, and I also don't really want to take away from the photos or the cut file the cut file I think is definitely the star of the show here uh, but I do love it 
Uh, playing with these flags, little banners, I really love them and I've really struggled to get them onto a page. Happy to report I use both of them on this page. And they go right there. So, so excited that I got them on the page. I love them and I've just really struggled to use them, which is, yeah. How often do you find things that you love that you struggle to use? Are you the same as me or do you just use it? Um, where have I gone? I think I've gone to get my silver thread. Yep, so silver thread. I'm going to add a little nest of silver thread behind my flare. Uh, and I chose silver again because I've got the silver accents on the um, pencils and the paintbrushes and then the silver splatters on the background. So I'm going to add a little nest of silver thread here. Um, the flare badges all come with a pop dot but my cut file is already popped up so I add that one and then I pop another one on top. <laughs> had a real hard time getting it to stick to the paper and not my finger. <laughs> I think I'm looking for my pop dots. Yep. Some wet glue and stick my flare badge on top. Really, really happy with how this came together. I'm going to add a little bit of glue to the cut file and stick these down, making sure you can still read them, um, but also making sure that the edges are free for me to lift up once it's all dry. So I've got that, I'm like, yes, I love that. I'm really happy with it. So I knew I wanted to include a little bit of something down here. I found this label sticker. Now it was stuck to my legendary collection sticker sheet, but it's not from there. I'm not sure which collection it's from, but it worked well. I've got this little star banner and this let's go sticker as well. Uh, Cause I'm crushing so much on that yellow. So that label is orange. Um, I decided to pull out these yellow um, alphabet puffy stickers and I'm going to add 2020 they fit perfectly on that label I'm going to move I end up moving this a tiny bit I think so that goes there and I pull in this sticker but I'm like that's not quite where I want it so I quickly pull it apart before it all dries I think that's where it goes yep so some more thread. Uh, I've just got like two clusters today, but I think that it kind of balances well with that because of that big cut file in the middle of the page and then a little cluster to the top left, a little cu cluster to the top right. And I feel like the page is nicely balanced. Add some silver thread down here. Put that on there. And I'm happy with how this little cluster turns out as well. So here I am um, just adding some dimension and, and messing it up a little bit because it's one of my pages. <laughs> Going to use a white gel pen and add some journaling. So I have some video close ups. So uh, top next to the flags it says Hunter Jack Year 2, Jacob Year 5. Um, the paintbrush immediately under the title says 3rd of February and then the one right down the bottom says and away we go second year together at the same school. So that is my second share for July for cut to you I'll leave all of the links for everything in the description box below. This is not technically part of the YouTube hop but make sure you do check out what is happening on that YouTube hop uh, shares all the way through the month. Super fun. Make sure you head over to the Facebook group to join in our challenges. If you've missed my uh, my little post saying, I'm really sorry for the comments I haven't responded to. I didn't know I had them. So I am kind of slowly getting there, but I have read them all. So a big, big thank you so much to everyone for hanging around. Thank you for stopping by. Really appreciate the time that you do take to stop by, to watch my channel, to leave me feedback. Um, so yeah, thank you very much. Have a fantastic scrappy day and I'll see you again very soon.